Hi, I'm Nancy. Today I'm going to teach you how to play When the Last Whistle Blows. It's a song I wrote about the uh, paper mill closure up in my hometown of Cornwall, Ontario, uh, a number of years ago, and uh, speaks to the resilience of our community and um, uh, the challenges that many communities face when uh, plants close uh, in your area. So um, the song is fun to play. It's uh, upbeat. Um, and some fairly basic easy chords. So I do a few little fancy things, um, but nothing that you won't be able to do. Uh, it's got a G that I play like this mostly. I just kind of mute out this, uh, this position here. Um, G, E minor, and oftentimes I'll keep these two fingers here on the first and second string, third fret. Um, then a C. A C often I will rock back and forth the uh, bass notes and a D uh, that sometimes will have this little D4 where you add your pinky to the third fret of the first string or an F sharp bass where I wrap my thumb around to engage the second fret of the sixth string. Okay so there's also a B minor but we'll get to that. The introduction, uh, there's a really hot fiddle uh, introduction by Brian Buchanan on my recording. He's the lead singer and uh, uh, he's a songwriter for Enter the Haggis. Really, really generous guy and uh, very talented. If you don't know Enter the Haggis, you should check them out. Um, oh, also, the link to the lyric sheet and the chords is right, right here, right below this video. So just scroll down, click that. It'll open up in a new window so that this video will just keep playing and you can follow along okay so have that in hand and here we go um, so we're going to start with um, the introduction we'll kind of sing the fiddle part as we go do 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 ba 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 da ba 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 that's the intro so it's G walk down to play the um, the F sharp uh, bass note to an E minor. That's the walk down on the G. And then the C. Oh yes, the picking that I'm doing is kind of pick, strum, pick, strum. So on the G, it's I'm playing all on this bottom string. So pick, strum, pick, strum. Strum all on the sixth string, and then the C is C. Rock down to the third fret of the sixth string, and then back to the G. Do do do. Okay, does that make sense? I think so. It should make sense. So let's just get into the chorus because I think. Um, it all all happened uh, right there. So uh, the chorus, you can do the F sharp here for a bit of a pickup note. Ba ba. When the last whistle blows, we'll go out on the town for a job well done. Even though they shut us down, any hope that Bob and Father would find our dreams of gold is gone. So the uh, tag after the chorus, before you do the verse, is a G, which I'm playing here again with my pinky and third finger on the first and second strings there. And then I, instead of going to a full C, I just come here to those bass notes. It's kind of like a C9, but it makes the transition go pretty quickly and smoothly. So it's... Uh, the count would be one, two, three, and on the fourth beat, go to that C. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and sustain. And into the first verse. The news is rather grim, walking down to that E minor. We hate to see it rocking the C, C 
see it come. D with the, the F sharp bass engaged. Cause we've been reeling paper since 1881. Or a hundred years, there's your E minor of toil to this agonizing. So when the last whistle blows, we'll go out on the town. See, feel that kind of lilt starting to happen when you pick up the tempo? For John. So that goes um, then into the second verse, um, back to the chorus, and then the bridge. Um, remember that B minor I talked about? We play a B minor. I play it as a bar chord. That means that I'm using my index finger and laying them across the entire second fret, pressing down all those strings at the same time. You can play it like this, or if that's uh, not where you're at, then play it with this uh, first finger just on the first string second fret. Uh, when you do that, when you play this version of the uh, B minor, then you want to pick, strum, pick, strum on the fourth string if you can manage it. Because these two notes don't sound as nice with that chord. So, But if you do play full B minor like this, then you can pick, strum, and rock back and forth, similar to the C where you're hitting the fifth string, fifth strum, sixth strum. Okay. So that's what I do. So it goes, um, This is the only place I ever... That's your C, playing with both the third and pinky finger um, on the fifth and sixth string. But I'm rocking, I'm picking the five and sixth string back and forth. I've ever called home. That's a G. And back to the B minor. This town's Play like that, or what I often do is play hard times before. Bring that D, it's the same shape as a C chord, but just bring it up to the third fret. And that's just a, it's a D chord, but it's a different voicing. And um, uh, that's kind of fun. To, I just like playing it like that. I don't know if I do that on the record, but I, I often will do that live. So uh, I still believe. There'll be something here for me It won't take long There's your E minor and a D With a D4 No, it won't take long Sustain that and then we're back into the chorus So when the last with the pickup note here on the second fret, fifth, uh, Second fret of the, the bottom string, the sixth string. It is an F sharp. <laughs> Gosh, I'm breaking all this down for you guys, I, and I and I I hope it's making sense, but it's kind of a head trip for me. Uh, when the last whistle blows, we'll go out on the town and up to tempo now for job. Well done. that last part that's really fun to play but let's take that a little bit slow and I'm pretty sure that's not on the recording but I, I always play it live and it's really fun it's a fun little lick to learn so let me show you that I'm just going uh, starting on a G up here on the third fret of the first string and uh, walking down the scale second fret first string open uh, third fret of the second string 
first fret of the second string, open second string, second fret third string, and that's um, the open uh, third string, with, so that's a full scale. So that's the first part. I'm um, pulling off of this to get that. And another pull off on the first uh, fret here. This pull off. You can choose to do that or not. That might take a little bit of practice. And then the end of the lick is the fourth string open with a hammer on to the second uh, fret. Okay. And then an open third string. And then the full G chord to end that up. So. Let's try that one more time. Easiest pie. All right, well, that's uh, when the last whistle blows. Um, I think it's very doable. It's a lot of fun to sing with a, with a crowd around. Um, uh, feel free to print out the, the lyric sheets and uh, have your friends sing along with you. Would love to see that. Uh, send me a video if you do that. Would love to see that and hear you guys singing it. Um, so that's it for now. Let me know what else you'd like to learn. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoy the song. <laughs>